Hey folks, Tony Lockhart here. This video is going to show you some techniques on drawing panels and things like that for comic books. Um, notice with this first layer I'm setting up the line art and what I've done is I have some kind of a background sketch for my character. It's super rough and what I'm doing now is with a brush that I like and that's nice and textured and a little bit thicker, I'm going in and drawing the character out and drawing in the background panel. Next, I got a color. Okay, so now that I'm ready to color, I've set up some kind of a selection with the marquee tool. I'm using a gradient and I have the furthest back layer set up to go and draw the sky with a gradient. Moving forward, I put a new layer on top of that to do the mountains in the background and I'm just coloring everything, not really worrying about deep shadows and highlights. A little bit closer, so the next um, layer moving forward is my character so I'm setting up and drawing in uh, basically the local colors of the spacesuit trying to get the hair and the you know the facial expression in when you're gonna draw skin that's um, light toned you want to go in the orange to red category and mix in some white and or black paint alright so now that that's set up I have a new layer on top called multiply and I also have a layer on top called a screen. This allows me to do highlights with white and shadows with black. All right, so let's finish off this video. If we take a look at this clip, um, when we zoom out and we look at the entire panel, things are looking pretty good. So let's just kind of break down what we created and I think we can finish things off and let me show you guys a couple of tricks also. Uh, so first things first is we started with some kind of a sketch. Remember, you can always start with some kind of a sketch on paper. You bring it into Photoshop and then what you're supposed to do is you trace it out with your line art so you could turn off the artwork. Um, in order to get these straight lines, all I did was hold down the shift key and then I drew with the paintbrush. Next you can kind of see there's it's like these little marching ants. So it's basically, you have an outline or a selection. So in order to get that, you would use this tool right here, which is called the Rectangular Marquee Tool. And underneath you have a bunch of other selection tools. Anyways, what I did was I drag a selection around the entire thing so that way I could paint inside. And then I wouldn't have to worry about any extra artwork or paint getting outside of the box. So essentially what I did is I put some kind of a gradient down and then I colored in the mountains. Notice the gradient is the sky, so it's farther back. Now I'm starting to come a little bit forward to get those mountains. Then I get the spacesuit, and then of course get the character as well. So we have pretty much everything buttoned down. We have, we have the background, we have the setting, and then we have the character. Now it's time for special effects. So we could just turn on the shadow layer, Don't forget shadow layers get multiply added to them because that's a really good tool to use. And then of course you could increase or decrease the intensity of the shadow just by changing the opacity. The last thing I did was I created some kind of a, uh, some kind of a, a screen layer. So instead of a multiply, what I did was I used screen, and then of course you could dial back the intensity so it doesn't have to be so strong. But screen is good for highlighting stuff and making things uh, kind of pop. So in order to get this effect of the glass that's reflecting light. Now the last thing I want to suggest is if you haven't done so already, you can click on the topmost layer in your stack, hold down the shift key on your keyboard, and then click on the bottom most uh, stack, um, layer in the stack, and then you click on them. So what happens is you have all of them selected. You can select on any one you want, or hold shift, and then click, and it's gonna highlight the ones you have selected. You can add to your selection by holding shift and continuing to click. So when I have all of these together, what I'm going to do is click on this button right here that says create a new group. This folder basically has all my stuff. So maybe I'm going to call this, you know, if I click click on the actual writing, 
I can call this panel, you know, let's call it panel five. And then it has everything in there. So if I turn off the visibility, there it is. But what's really nice about doing this is that if I go and select the entire panel group, and if I do a control T, which is also uh, the same as edit menu free transform, it's really convenient because I can move this around and I can put this wherever I want. I can also shrink this or increase the size so that way it's gonna do what I want it to do. All right, so to end this video off, again, let's review one last time. You wanna to try to paint in layers so that way you can have all of your stuff progressively moving forward. And you wanna use things like blend modes with shadows to do like a multiply or um, highlights to be able to do some kind of a screen. And then when you group all of your stuff together, it's really convenient because then you could just go take this thing, control C, go to a completely different file and control V, and then it gives you a lot of control. And you could bring lots of different things from different places together. All right guys, I hope that was a hopeful video. Definitely go give this a try. We'll see you in the next one. Thanks, bye-bye.